In the name of God, the all compassionate, the all merciful. Hello everyone. In this tutorial, you will learn how to convert a G-code to an series and how to create a, a suitable G-code for your 3D printing simulation in Abacus. I will model, I will create a G-code for a, an example and convert it to an even series for a plate that is the following, like the dimension is as following. And the 3D model was created in Rhino 6 and saved in STL or STL lithography formatted file in the Rhino environment you can observe the model part. And uh, it is not just by Rhino, you can do it by SolidWorks or CATIA or AutoCAD or any 3D model software uh, as you can do but it's important to save it in STL format of file after this this step uh, we will pay attention to create a g-code by uh, an STL format of file a STL format of file is curated su successfully but uh, you should uh, convert this file to a g-code one next is position the model at the central part of uh, x y z coordinate or in the other word the origin point the reason for that is i will explain among the real example first of all i should import you can see by default the part locates at the central part of the 3D printing simulator or each bed in the other word. Uh, in the real 3D printing, the part should print at the center. It is better to print at the central part, central point of 3D printer. But in simulation of 3D printing, it is important to define X, Y, and Z position the coordinates at the same point as, as it defined in G-code. So uh, it is easier to define these, um, this origin at the central part of the model and do the same in Abacus. So to do that, you should zero x for x and y offset and id. As you can see, the origin locates at the center of the part and also you can do the same for the z if there isn't uh, any offset the default setting is okay next is apply some settings in process it is important to do some settings in process for well, according to your 3d printing pattern 3D printing temperature, if the temperature, or maybe your printing speed, there are 3D printing parameters. But um, as well as these settings, uh, some settings are important for creating a G code that we'll use to simulate 3D printing in Abacus. To show you more about this, the reason of that is you can see. Uh, through G code of real 3D printing. And as you can see in this animation, two red drops is printed, and these are because of the OS control, and they will do these drops can optimize the 3D printing, but in the Abacus simulation, it can affect your simulation and also it is not suitable. So we should um, prevent to prevent the printing of such drops. To do that, it is just having some settings here. In this part, lose control. By default, this setting is selected, but you should deselect them. And in advanced step, the first option should be um, consider and in G code the first one 
is required. Here are the summary of the setting that you should apply in 3D printing process. Next, you can do prepare to the 3D printing. And as you can see, the animation of 3D printing is according to that. These uh, patterns is reflected in the GPO that I will you know, export from this GPO Jersey software. So to do that, I can just go and save my model. I name it. And uh, it was saved successfully. The GPod can be opened in any formatted file like Notepad, Word, or Excel. But uh, in this tutorial, my converting occurs in Excel, so we should open it on an Excel file. There are two ways to open a file. The first is right click on our GPod and choose Notepad. Excel Simplify 3D or any software that we wanna to do. So I choose Excel. But as you can see, uh, each line inserts in one cell, and it is not uh, like that is uh, just like what that we want. So it is necessary to open it in Excel in the format that we desire. So for that, uh, it is important to open an Excel file, browse, and at that step, I choose all files, and I go to my location, and click on open. Before that, I should close my file, so now I can do. Click on open, browse, this file. This window appears. You should go to the next, and these options should be pressed and selected. If you finish this process, you can see all of these elements separated and written in individual cells. But uh, it is not the end of our converting. We just open in a in the proper format. Our main problem is that the format of even series is such some numbers that are written in uh, a specific order. But as you can see here, before each number, for example, X and Y coordinates, there are some characters that we don't want to be. To omit this character, you should come here and use the command of write cell number length cell number minus one i will do here for an example so i come here and paste this file this command type equal and choose the cell that i wanna take action so you can see the X character is omitted successfully. For another thing is that in which part of this G code, which part is necessary for our event here? Are all these commands are necessary for our do for our event series or not? And to answer this question, I should mention that uh, there are some clues that shows which part is about 3D printing and which part is just about the device setting and moving up the extruder or another thing. The F command, if the, if the line that the row that contains F command, it shows that the 3D printing will start and the extruder moves without any material extrusion. So we should start our conversion from this line as you can see I drag and it ends before the tool command I should 
say that we have two steps. According to my print pattern, we have two steps. The first step re um, returns to the part, the perimeter part of each uh, this layer, and um, the second step is about filling this uh, part. It's called raster, raster pattern. So you can see such commands in the G-code. This part is for printing up the perimeter part of this 3D printing. We can similarly do for this part. The F starts here and before the this line and E and F command, this part of 3D printing which returns about raster printing pattern we can do the same so I did and the conversion did successfully I have another excel that I copied in my work and you can see the process of conversion as I showed to you we have two step in this printing pattern this printing technique the first step is for about printing the perimeter and the second step is for raster and at the start if we have a command we should uh, type 0 for the printing status and another lines should be write, written as 1 because the start is for moving the extruder and the next and next and next is for material extrusion and the extruder at the same time as the previous part for the perimeter for the raster pattern the start the printing starts by zero it means that the extruder moves without extrusion and after that after this moving the moving of extruder um coincides with material extrusion so you can see so the status is written successfully but then another thing the another question is where is the z x y and e returns to the coordinates and timing but what about the z coordinate about uh, to answer this question we can pay attention to the code the g code uh, there are some layers and after the layer number we can see z minus 0.4 or for example 0.2 it shows that the 3d printing and this layer and this um, elevation occurs like that it means that all of these cells returns for z might equals to 0.2 and similarly for layer 2 and layer 3 layer 4 so we can do the same so, after we understanding this meaning about the status, the material status, and also the X and Y and Z position, we can create such format. But there is another thing that we should pay attention, and it is about in even series. The first column shows the timing, the time that this coordination, this state should be happening. And uh, the timing should be uh, should be written at the first column, but in G code the first column is about the X coordinate. So we can change the order of these columns and for our three. Here you can see the correct format for G. -code. But another important point is about the timing. You can uh, you should pay attention about your. 3D printing speed. But another thing is, if you your um you wanna just test uh, if your even series is correct or not, it isn't necessary to have long time. And if your real time is about thousand seconds, it may more um high computational cost for your arrays, and it is not efficient. So to achieve that, we can scale our time and. For scaling, uh, it, it is just uh, you should click 
your time, your, your real time, uh, to the duration of 3D printing and multiply to the required time yet that you wanna do. So I did. And after that, we can have our even series with the scale time here in this tab. And you can just copy it on another Excel file and save it by a specific format that I will mention. Okay. In this on the desktop or in another part, any part that we want to have. Uh, CSV is our uh, mention format. So I did, and I can open it on Notepad format. As you can see, the file and order of numbers is like that even series. But it is important to mention that if you can open, you should open your file and the INT file to a readable format for Abacus. So you can copy it easily and paste it on an iron format. Another important uh, note and tip is that this uh, technique, this conversion for even series is just for about FDM. If you have another technique like um, DED or PBF, uh, the last number should be the power value. If there isn't any um, power, uh, it is zero and if your power is on, you should put the voltage that you have in your 3D print. In this tutorial, my GCO to image series conversion was done by Excel file, but in more complicated G codes, it is important to do by MATLAB or Python code, and I will explain it more in further videos. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you're interested in it, please like and also subscribe to my channel. My goal here is not only help you with finite element simulation, but use this software as a professional engineer. If you know someone who needs such tutorial, please share it with him or her. Have a good day and see you soon.